how to do a meal med sinus rinse. Nobody's favorite thing, but extremely important to optimize the healing process after you've had your sinus surgery. So most sinus offices have been given a ton of these samples, so you probably already have one. If you don't, you can get them at any drugstore or pharmacy. So here's our water bottle. You fill it up with boiled or distilled water to the dotted line. It needs to be distilled, ultra filtered, ultra clean water because we don't want to introduce anything from tap water, potentially like chemicals or bacteria into those freshly operated sinuses. You can microwave the water for five to 10 seconds. It warms it up a little bit. And that tends to be more comfortable than straight cold water. And then you dissolve in one of these little salt packets. You can buy these individually, but they also come in the kits for a couple of rinses. So put your finger over the spout, give it a little bit of a shake to really dissolve in and form that saline solution. And then in the shower or over the sink, you bend forward, drop your chin down to your chest, put the spout in one side of your nose and give it a big gentle squeeze. The point of this rinse is to be high volume, but low pressure. So it doesn't really need to be forceful. And then you let the water come out that nostril, the other nostril, some of it's going to come out of your mouth a little bit. And then you do that for half the bottle, switch to the other side and do the same thing to use up the remaining half of the bottle. This is going to rinse out bacteria, clots, mucus, crusting, that's having a tendency to accumulate and form around those freshly operated sinuses. If you leave that in place, it can scar down and close off the sinuses that have just been opened up.